How to design your own role centers and profiles just using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, whenever a user logs onto Business Central, the first page they see is, is a page that is linked to whatever role they have been assigned. Uh, and we call that page a role center. And for some strange reasons we also kind of call this for profile um let me show you what i'm talking about so here is i have just logged in and i get a page with a little of everything which is the the business manager uh, role you can see this is role here and then you go in and then you select available roles but what you're actually seeing here are profiles and it even says roles in parentheses um, and you see there's way more here than actually in the list because not all of these are enabled so uh, maybe what you're looking for is actually there but if you need to create this yourself you need to create a profile and then you need to create a role center page so the page we have here see there's content and then there's menu things in different places and this is the role center page, which is connected to the profile, which is also the role, which is kind of complicated, but it's not if we use the simple object designer, because then it will handle everything for you. And the way it works in the simple object designer is that we go into the create new feature area and I have a blank app here so I can do a new feature and we, the first thing you need to do when creating a new feature is to specify what what template you want to use. And we got a new template for role center and profile. Um, so I will select that, give it a name, let's call it YouTube, uh, which is just an internal name. And then uh, uh, the, the YouTuber role here. Um, this is what people will actually see. I click next, we're done in the wizard, we click next, and then we get to the feature card. So this is where we design our role. And the first thing we need to do is to figure out what, what do we want in the top, in the in the in in the in the menu part. And every every component we put on a page like here needs to have have a name. Uh, so I can say this is A1. This is alphabetically sorted, so if you want to change the uh, the order of things, change it according to to the uh, to the sorting. I can place action menu items in. Well, it looks like I can put it in five different spots, but actually, when we're working on a uh, on a role center, we're not using the navigation part. So we're only using top menu creation, processing, and reporting. Just like if we we're designing something else we would never use the top menu because that's only available on a role center that's business central thing so in the top menu i can say okay let's add a page 22 that's the customer list i would call this our customers and i can do another one here and then instead of putting that in the top menu i'll put in the creation and because I know these numbers by heart, I know that 42 is actually a sales order. So I could put sales order in creation. Then I'll do another one here. And after creation comes processing. So we could, let's process our customers. I'm just using the customer list. It's not really important what, I, what I'm calling here. I just want to create the menu. And then the last one. I want to put into reporting. So we could take a, um, a report and I think if I select 111, I get the customer top 10 list here. So now we kind of put one in each location. Then that's taken care of the menu at the top. Now we need to put some content into the page and we call those for parts. Um, so I can call them for P, P here. And um, we need to select a, uh, a, a part and, and Business Central is filled with parts that 
potentially could go in, but a lot of these cannot go in. And, and uh, we can see that some of them might, Office 365 looks like that's something, the trial balance, uh, the stuff that looks that it can go in and you can just try it. Some of them will not make any sense, so like the timesheet line subform. It will probably show something, but it won't really work. It, there's a great trick if you place a, um, a, a filter for activities. Then you can see that there's a bunch of pages called activities, which are designed from the other roles in the pages. So uh, let's say that I want the both the account payables activities and the account receivables activities on my role center. So I'm a uh, both AR and AP accountant in this case. So um, we could call this vendors and create a P2. And I think it was 9034, the next one, call that customers. So now I have two components put into my page and I have a bunch of menus. Um, and that means I'm done. So I can, I can close this, I can close this, and I can hit publish. Publish to this environment, yes, please. So what is happening now is that the simple object designer is writing the code. It's basically doing the same thing that I would do if you came to me and asked, hey, Eric, please create a role center profile role thingy for me that has these menu items at the top and this content in the page. I would go and write that as code. This is what the simple object designer is doing for us now. Um, and then when it's done writing the code, it will do two things. The first one is that it says, Oi, uh, you here's the download. So it will, it will download the app file for you. So if you're doing this on, on a sandbox, uh, you can take that app file and deploy on your production environment without having to necessarily use the object designer on your production environment. You can go use that in a sandbox, make sure everything is the way you like it, and then you can take the app file to, to, to your production environment. Or you can run the object designer in the production environment if you feel like. Then the second thing that's happening is that because I answered yes, it will deploy the changes to this environment. Um, and this is my uh, test box here. So, so you see a bunch of crazy stuff going on. We're only interested in the top line and we can see this is in progress. I'll hit a five. I'll hit a five again and again and again and then, and now it's complete. So what we can do is let's just close all this then go to my settings uh, and we can see that now I have a profile called YouTuber role. I select that one. This essential restarts, and we can take a look at our new role. So we have two activities here: one for uh, purchase and one for sale. Um, we can see we have our customers up in the menu. We have action, so we can create a new sales order. We have our process. Uh, and we have our report here at the end. Um, so that is how you create a uh, your own roles and role center profiles with the, the simple object designer. You can check it out on the, on the link below and uh, have fun.